Are you looking for E3 coverage but you don't have much time? Well, you come to the right place. This is E3 in under five minutes. Welcome to E3 in under five minutes. This is for the Ubisoft conference. First up, we had South Park, the fractured but whole. Yeah, that's right, a new South Park game. Matt and Trey said they'd never ever make another game. They stepped on stage with the trailer. They talked about it and it is coming. That first game, The Stick of Truth, was awesome. Can't wait, cannot wait to get my hands on it. Like this is amazing. I just wished for uh, to be able to play it on my Xbox One or PS4, but now I just get to play an all new game. Then we had For Honor. This is a melee action game, uh, really with Vikings and knights. Uh, warriors clashing hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat um, it's really really tactical looking one-on-one -on -one combat about about blocking on time and and countering on time and just dominating your opponent in a real chess like uh, mind game fashion it, it, it looks really interesting um, not sure if it's really gonna be for me but I know uh, I'm definitely wanting to see more about it, that's for sure. Then we got to see the Crew Wild Run expansion on November 17th. Uh, that's going to have more vehicles and a graphical upgrade. Uh, for all of you Crew players out there, that is definitely something to be looking out for. Then they came out with something really interesting. We got to see a cat with a gun riding a unicorn. A fucking unicorn. And I'm like, what What could this possibly be for? Then all of a sudden, Trials Fusion, the awesome level max. This is going to be a new expansion for Trials, has 24 new levels, all played with a gun-toting cat riding a unicorn. Then The Division finally gets a release date of March 8th, 2016, to get our sweet little hands on that awesome, amazing-looking piece of gaming software. They showed off the Dark Zone, which is kind of a creepy, you know, people are under tarps, they're dead. Um, a lot of looting goes on there. Uh, got this huge thing of, of people coming up, wanting to see if they were going to attack them or not. These are real-life characters. Those characters decided to help them and shoot the, the enemy. Uh, then they all go off, and they're trying to get this, they're trying to make it to the uh, evacuation point. They choose to take these people's loot. They shoot them all down, take their loot. Uh, one guy's injured and he's on the ground. They ask for help. He doesn't help them. Instead, that one guy who's on their team kills them all, takes all their stuff, and walks off. That is a really good twist to this game. I'm going to be really interested to dive in there and really just fuck shit up. Oh, not to mention, the beta is coming early 2016. Then we got Anno. 2205. Uh, this is a futuristic uh, world building game, much like SimCity. Then they announced that Just Dance 2016 is getting a release on November 20th. Uh, not only that, they're going to have a streaming service called Just Dance Unlimited, uh, which gets you uh, the subscription to all their songs, all their content, all in one place. They also talked about the new feature where you no longer need a camera attached to your console. Uh, you can use simply your own smartphone. Then they talked about Rainbow Six The Siege and how it's getting a beta. That beta is coming September 24th. It's going to involve Tarot Hunt as well as PvP. This is something that really caught my eye. It's called Track Mania. This is like a roller coaster ride set in a racing atmosphere. I can't wait to just do these loops fly all over the place. It, it takes Forza Horizon 2 and puts it in a zany, futuristic roller coaster amusement thing that just honestly just has me excited. And that's something I never thought I'd see and I wasn't didn't even know I wanted. Then there's Ghost Recon Wildlands. This is a massive open world Ghost Recon game uh, set, it looks like, in the Middle Eastern area until the map pulls out. And this game is going to be global. This is going to be a massive game. Uh, it it kind of reminds me of the Watch Dogs trailer when it pulled out and it showed all these people all over. Except this one it pulls out and shows you the entire world. And it says something like, where are we going to go next? So I, can, I can't even begin to imagine how big this game is going to be. Well, that was it for the Ubisoft conference. What is it you saw? What did you like? What did I miss? Just let me know when you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get back to each and every one of you. Until then, stay geeked up, and always hug a xenomorph. Are you looking for E3 coverage but you don't have much time? 
will you come to the right place. This is E3 in under five minutes. Martin Joe has an army who don't hardly play. I warned you, have a lovely day.